are to well hello everybody it's miss sarah we had a little bit of problem recording or posting our recording from juke groovy tuesday this morning so we're just doing a short version to show you really really just show you what was in the magic basket this morning and to read you your story and get you to story time so um without further ado here we go we're going to look in the magic basket now this morning our magic picnic basket left us a wonderful surprise that we had to just share with you and it was such a wonderful surprise can you see what it is everybody it's a little bird's nest now our magic basket had left us a note to say that it had fallen on the ground, it had fallen out of a tree, and that everybody inside had been safe. The eggs actually had hatched, and the shells were inside, and everybody got to fly away. So nobody was hurt, and nobody destroyed the, the nest trying to get at it. So it's just so perfectly round, and it's very, actually, it's very firm and tough. And inside were some make-believe eggs from our basket, three little blue eggs, because our magic basket wanted us to guess what kind of a bird we thought maybe had left these eggs. And we guessed Robin's eggs, and they were blue and speckled eggs. And yes, I think that that was the, the correct answer. So, and also the magic basket had picked us out this wonderful book called Mel Fell. And you know, the funny thing was that normally we hold our book up like this, but this one is a book that you have to hold sideways. So it was so much fun to read. So anyway, we're gonna read this to you, but before we do, we're going to get onto our rocket ships and we're gonna go to story time on the moon. So everybody just start your engines. And on three, we're gonna go to the moon, okay? All right, here we go. One, two, three. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. In five, four, three, two, one. All right, everybody, do your lunar landing. Grab a seat on the moon and get ready for this lovely book called Mel Fell by Corey R. Tabor and published by uh, Balser and Bray, an imprint of HarperCollins Publishers. So on the inside cover, that again, normally we would read like this, but this one, this time it's like this. Sometimes you might fall down, down, down before you learn to fly up, up, up. All right, so let's see what this story is about. And here is a picture of a big, strong tree trunk and a picture of a little bird. All right, it says Cory Artibor Mel Bell. One day when mama was away, uh-oh, you know what happens when mama's away, Mel decided it was time to learn to fly. She had been in the nest long enough, and we know what that's like, don't we? Aren't you scared? asked her sister Pim. Yes, said Mel, but I won't let that stop me. No siree, there she goes. She's marching to the end of that branch very determined. She looked down. Whoa, it sure is a long drop, said her brother Pip. Well, said Mel, I've got wings. Mel was scared and it was a long drop, but today was the day she would fly. Very determined little bird. See you soon, she told her siblings. She jumped, she flipped, she spread her wings and then she fell. Oh, <laughs> they've got their eyes covered. They can't watch, they just can't watch. Oh, there's some an owl family in the tree looking to see what's going on. Mel fell, 
and fell. The squirrels tried to catch her. They really did. They'd grown quite fond of those squeaky little chirpers upstairs. Blast! Oh, he just missed. Nuts! Oh, I you right out of his grasp. But it was no use. They missed her by a whisker. Zizu, Zizu, said the bees. Oh, and there's a little tiny star, a little asterisk. That down here translates it to, translates into we will save you but they barely slowed her down well, they got a hold of her feet but no no chance oh straight through a spider's web she goes even the spider lent a hand all eight of them see the spider there she's trying to hold on to her with eight legs but still Mel fell she fell and fell Oh, and here's a little slug on the tree. It says, do not fear, helpless little bird. I will catch you. Look, and even the ants are trying to link together to catch Mel. Oh, no, says the ladybug. Uh-oh. Oh, and Mel's eyes are open. Oh, she must be near the bottom. Splash right into the water at the bottom of the tree. Mel dived into the water. She snapped her beak and caught a fat little fish. And it says, turn the book. She kicked her legs. She wiggled her tail feathers. She spread her wings. And then, oh, there's another direction for us to turn the book up this way. I told you this was a fun book. She flew! Oh my goodness, now she's coming up out of the water and she's flying back up in the sky with a little fish in her beak. Mel flew and flew back up past the ants and the slug, back up through the spider web. As Mel flew by, the spider clapped her hands. Again, all eight of them. Oh look, and she's filled, yay, and with her web. Past the bees, and the bees said, Huzzah! Huzzah! Past the owl family. The squirrels raced her to the top. Oh, I don't know. I think Mel's going to win. Mama was waiting when she got there. Uh oh. I flew! I flew! said Mel. Oh, she's so happy. Oh, but she dropped her little fish. Look, and her fish is saying, I'm flying. Oh, nice big hug from Mama. I knew you could, said Mama. I knew I could too, said Mel. Ah, and from the depths of the bottom of the tree, we have a little word bubble that says, Do not fear, helpless little fish. I will catch you. Splash. I guess the slug's still not moving fast enough to catch anything. And here, at the very back of the book, there's an author's note that says that Mel is a kingfisher. That's a kind of a bird. And kingfishers catch fish by diving into the water from tree branches or wires. Many kingfishers nest in tunnels they dig in earth and banks near water, while others nest in tree hollows like Mel. Some even live in old termite nests. A young kingfisher probably doesn't catch a fish the first time they leave the nest, but then Mel is a very special bird. The end. All right, so we have one little one little song for you before we go, and it is about two little birds, two little blackbirds, in fact, and it goes like this. Two little blackbirds sitting on a hill, one named Jack and the other named Jill. Fly away, Jack. Put your hands behind your back like that. Fly away, Jill. Put your hand, other hand behind your back. Come back, Jack. And come back, Jill. All right, let's try that again with another verse. Two little black birds flying in the sky. One named low and one named high. Fly away, low. 
fly away high, come back low, come back high. Two little black birds sitting on a gate, one named early, one named late. Fly away early, fly away late, come back early, come back late. Come back late. Late. Has anybody seen late? Has anybody seen late? Oh, here he comes. Oh, better late than never. All right, everybody, so that's all the time we have today. We're going to sing our very last song of the program, and we're going to end it with, you know what, open, shut them, right? We're going to do some handy work. We're going to practice opening and closing our hands. So get your hands open, and we're going to sing right away. Ready? Yeah, we're going to sing it on three. Count with me. One, two, three. Open, shut them. Open, shut them them give a little clap 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 open shut them open shut them lay them in your lap 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 creep them creep them slowly creep them right up to your chin 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 open wide your little mouth but do not put them in Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them way up high. Wave them, wave them, wave them, wave them while we say goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. See you next time. Mwah.